From the beginning of our plans to return this fall, we said we would use data and guidance from our experts to drive our decisions. We said that at every step in the process, we would have to be ready and willing to adjust if necessary. Our health and the safety of our loved ones depends on it. That's why we've begun phase two of our testing plan, as outlined in the playbook we released in June. Data from phase one showed a trend, a higher positivity rate for our students in fraternity and sorority life. This warranted a move driven by our robust data to protect our students and community. And we were able to do so with speed and precision because of our preparation. This is not and never will be about blaming our students. They are and continue to be at the center of everything we do. Their success is why we are here. We know that our Greek houses present distinct challenges around communal living that make it more difficult to mitigate risk. By retesting this population, we will establish a better baseline to keep everyone safe. And once this testing is complete, we will continue examining our data to test other student populations. It's all about letting science inform our interventions. It's about doing what we must to keep our students safe and our community well. That's how we're going to get through this. With shared commitment to protecting each other, we will get through this together.